Someone once said, you don't really know a person until you walk a mile in their shoes. Whoever said this must have met many a person like me. Where one's shoes have been and what they have done can give you a great deal of insight into a person. I think my shoes reveal a lot about me, not only my everyday activities and hobbies, but the events that have shaped my inner self. So this is my documentary called Sneakers and Trainers. It revolves around my passion and knowledge for different kinds of trainers, my knowledge about its culture, a showcase of my collection, and why I have them. Lastly, an interview with my neighbour and his cousin, who also have a collection. When I talk to people, I like to ask what kind of trainers they're into, or kind of what they own. Some people say they buy them because they look nice. Other people say they have some kind of connection towards them. Um, some people just don't have a clue at all. I started collecting in 2014 when I was given a pair of extremely limited sample vans for my birthday and since then I was intrigued to find out what other kinds of rare trainers I could find. So why am I interested in them? I like to think they're the thing everybody looks at when they see you in public. I like to stand out in public just like many other people. So having a nice or rare pair of trainers on is a really good feeling and you want, to see, you want the public to see that. I personally like to go by a quote said by rapper Eminem. Um, he said, trainers make up 90% of your outfit and I strongly believe that. This line appealed to me and it's part of the reason why I like to collect trainers. I conducted a questionnaire or survey online in which I asked people in my college course and the general public some questions about their knowledge about trainers. I got back some really interesting answers. Half of the people I asked said they were interested in trainer sneaker culture, 28% said they were uninterested, 17% they were knowledgeable of sneaker culture and 5% they were not knowledgeable whatsoever. 78% said they owned multiple pairs of trainers while only 22% said they only owned a few. The most popular brands that people collected were Adidas, Vans, Nike and Fila. Overall a pretty interesting set of results. I went to go visit my neighbour and his cousin who also have an interest in sneaker culture. Hey, what's going on people? It's your boy and we're back with an interview with a man himself, Oli Annan. Yo. <laughs> How's it going Oli? Great sound, you know? We are in <laughs> So. Obviously, in front of you and on your feet, you're wearing the easy triple white. How long ago did you get them? <laughs> like two months ago. Pretty good, how much are you getting for? I think I got them for like 200. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. Right, so when did you become interested in Yeezys as a general? When I'm BBCI playing, you know. Do you know Blue Panet? Yeah. Like David Attenborough and that. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, obviously, like, he did a collab with Off-White that just expired me, you know, to get the, um, the Yeezy. <laughs> expired, not inspired. <laughs> so you literally became a Blue Planet hype beast. Is that, can I confirm that's true? Yeah, like, Blue Planet, obviously, it's a good show about, like, the seagulls and that. What pair of shoes do you reckon you got next? Parachute. Yeah. <laughs> what parachute? Yeah. What ones are you buying next? Wait, what do you mean by parachute? Parachutes. <laughs> parachutes. I didn't say parachute. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, mate, I'll probably just buy the like triple whites because obviously I'm sick of um the okay. zebras. What the zebras? You want to get some zebras? No, these are zebras, right? No, they're the triple white. Oh man. Oh yeah, I'm getting the off white vapor max. Well, yeah. I was going to get that one. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm... Get the white pair, I'll get the black pair. So, what do you think of George's Crep? How do you rate George's Crep out of 10? Give me some details. <laughs> no, it's a good shoe, you know. Off-white, like, like, hype beast and that. Jeez! Nah, yeah, Ra rate I mean... it's out, rate it's out of 10. Rate it's out of 10. No, like... Probably go with, like, a 7. A 7? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's all right, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. It's like a shoe that I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rate. Like those Ultra Boost. Duh. No, I was gonna buy Ultra Boost Triple Black. Yeah, they're nice. For work shoes, but that'd be nice for work actually. Yeah. 
All right. That's what I'm bossing out. Thank you. Wait, are these actually off white? Yeah. Come into the interview. Well, go on again, people. We've got another interview. The man himself. George Hill. All right. <laughs> well, go on, boy. Good evening. How are you doing? Not bad, thank you, mate. How are you? I'm all right. Ooh. I've asked some questions. Is that all right? Are you? <laughs> right. How did you get into trainers? I put them on my feet with socks. That's how I got into them. <laughs> Who got you into trainer culture? My mum bought me a banging pair of plimsolls when I was four years old. Ever since then, I've been addicted. To me, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. <laughs> so, you recently just caught off white mercurial pack. How do you feel about this? Yeah, mate, they're decent, very comfy. They look pink. <laughs> pretty unstable on the feet, though. When I first bought them, they were, but I must have used them. Nice. Are you going to buy a pair of crepes next? What are they going to be? And I think I know the answer to this. Pharrell Williams and MDs. Wrong answer. What are you going to say? Murky Sobercoves. <laughs> nah. <laughs> huh? Pharrell's the answer for me. Alright. What was your first pair of good crepes? What were my NMDs? What, what are they? They're like limited edition ones. Prime Nip. They've got Asian writing on the back. Prime Nip Japan pack. Are they? Whatever, yeah, then. Oh, actually, nah. I've got a limited edition of limited edition vans. Did they you were, get samples as well? They were, I have, they were fluorescent orange and jean blue. Well, they, did they say sample on the inside of them? I got them from America uh, Vans Factory. But like I fell <laughs> off a bike and ripped them in half. I've got my mum, when I, when I was 12, my mum got me a sample pair of Japanese vans. <laughs> I guess I watch those cell phone nowadays. Oh. Five grand, I can't find them anywhere. Right. Yeah, but these hoes bad, so they stay attached to my gonads. Uh, waking up to a few L's. Open up my closet to that new shoe smell. I right, done. Rate this. You know what time it is. Rate all these crap. So obviously, Easy Boots triple white. I know you're not a fan of triple white, but I like the Yeezy chassis. That's a good answer. But. I don't like white shoes because after wear and tear, they go from white to that. Correct. Yeah, I know, but that's the bottom of the shoe. You won't see the shoe. Let's go. Wait, Let's go. if you'd like comfort and stability, these aren't the shoes for you because look at this. <laughs> True. However, however, solid, solid. Right, so we just look at these things. No insults. Yeah, because I took them out. I took them out. Off-white insoles. Is it made out of wool? Keep your keep your foot cold. It's you know? like made of wood, mate. Rate the easy out of ten and think about your answer. My way in triple whites. The triple whites, yeah. I've rate triple whites six point eight. Six point eight. That's a bit like. That's a bit if like. If I was gonna get the triple blacks. Easies. Rate rate the triple blacks then. Two. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So you got you gave him a seven. He yeah. gave he gave you six point eight. How'd you feel about that? That's dark, mate. It's been your boy, Easy Hunter, <laughs> <laughs> slaying them things with the off whites. <laughs> That's gonna be on camera. It's been your boy. Cheers, boys. It's been good. So the main thing I learned about those two interviews is that people are more interested in the look of trainers or the feel of them or how comfy they are on feet. That is a valid thing to say, though, because I do personally look for comfort in trainers. But another thing I've learned is people collect them for the height. As you've seen, George owns a pair of Off-Whites and Oli Anning owns a pair of Adidas Yeezys, both collaborating with very, very big people, also known as Virgil Abloh and Kanye West. You may have heard one of them. At the end of the day, everyone's opinion on trainers is different, and I accept that. And that's why I like them so much, because everybody has a different view of them, and everybody likes them, everybody wears them. Trainers are a big thing in our lives, and I feel like they're going to get bigger within a few years. That's all I have to say. Thank you.
Thank you for watching my documentary called Sneakers and Trainers. See you later.